I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we will understand a strategy to find exact value of trigonometric ratios involving compound angles. The equation is, find the exact value of tan minus 7 pi by 12. Now, any question like this, you need to understand few things, right? So, let me mark those things first, and then we'll see how to incorporate these things to get the solution. First thing is, whenever you get an angle, we need to find or an expression, we can say equivalent expression. Uh, in terms of uh, related acute angle. In terms of related acute angle. Okay, I wanted to write three points, but I wrote like this. So, equivalent expression in terms of related acute angle, that should be the first thing, right? So, this is the first thing for you to do. The second thing which you need to work on is how to split it as sum or difference, right? So, then we have to uh, find combination. To write this as a plus b or a minus b right so these are the two things which we have to look into and then the last thing which we'll always look into is basically to rationalize solution okay so let's begin by understanding what it means so when I say tan is minus 7 pi by 12, now let's look at it. What am I saying? Tan is minus 7 pi by 12. Minus means we are moving in the direction which is clockwise. 7 pi by 12 means we have already divided this pi into 12 portions. 7 is more than half. So we are somewhere here, right? So we are somewhere here. Now this happens to be quadrant 3 where tan is positive is that okay so you know the rule all are positive here sine is positive here tan is positive here and cosine is positive in quadrant four so in quadrant three all are positive now what is the related acute angle since the pi has been divided into 12 parts we are left with five so this is five pi by 12 does it make sense therefore i could write tan minus 7 pi by 12 as an equivalent expression in terms of related acute angle, we are having tan which is positive. So I'm writing positive here. An acute angle is 5 pi by 12. So we could write this as tan 5 pi by 12. Now this is the most critical step in finding the exact value. So I hope this step is absolutely clear. Perfect. That is the acute angle. Tan is positive. Therefore, we wrote positive here. Now, we've done the first step. Second is, we need to write as a combination of these. Now, if you want exact value, we're actually looking at two triangles. And these two triangles are, uh, let me sketch both of them here. Okay. Uh, pi by 4 pi, I mean this is let's say pi by 4 triangle 1 1 square root 2 and then we have uh, pi by 3 triangle where this is pi by 6 you know 1 2 square root 3 correct so these are the two triangles so we want angles in terms of these only so denominator should be either 3 4 or 6 12 is a very good number to work with a uh, lot of combinations right now so what we will do now is split this 5 pi as no need to write positive it was only to make you understand that we are in quadrant 3 therefore it has to be positive perfect now 5 could be written as 1 plus 4 but 1 will give us 12 in the denominator it doesn't really help but well, we could write 5 as 3 pi plus 2 pi. Does it make sense to you? Over 12. 
you see how easy it is so let me get back to this side so I'm moving here so we could write this as 10 and now 3 divided by 12 is 4 so we could write this as pi by 4 plus 2 divided by 12 is 6 so we get pi by 6 do you see that part so 10 minus 7 pi by 12 can be written as 10 pi by 4 plus pi by 6 right going directly to this is kind of difficult but if you follow the steps which I've just shown you so we went from here to this place is that okay now now you know what tan a plus b formula is so let's rewrite the formula here and we'll just apply the formula so we have tan a plus b as equals to tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a tan b perfect now as far as pi by 4 is concerned we are looking into this value which is 1 pi by 6 is concerned we are looking from that direction which is 1 over square root 3 so let me uh, rewrite here the formula first so we get this as equals to tan pi by 4 plus tan pi by 6 over 1 minus product of these two right okay I interchange okay it doesn't matter now we'll substitute the values tan pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2 some of you could also use a triangle with square root 2 over 2 so avoiding one uh, fraction but I'll keep both right okay so I'm sorry tan pi by 4 is just 1 so it is 1 plus tan pi by 6 you're looking from this side 1 over square root 3 okay and here you get 1 minus pi by 6 is 1 over square root 3 times 1 perfect now to simplify this you could do layers of fractions or what you could do is just times both numerator and denominator by square root 3 do you see that now if I do that just times by square root 3 what do I get square root 3 times 1 is square root 3 plus when you times this you just get 1 here is it okay now that is a very simple step because some of my students get confused with layers of fractions we are avoiding that square root 3 times 1 is square root 3 minus square root 3 does it make sense to you now sometimes in multiple choice that may not be a choice <laughs> so you may have to move forward and that is where the last step of rationalization comes in correct so you see how these three steps help us so how do we rationalize rationalizing really means uh, I did something wrong here when you multiply here you get 1 okay so square root 3 minus 1 in the denominator yeah sorry for that anyway so now let us rationalize so we have to multiply and divide by the conjugate of this denominator we don't want to see square root term in the denominator so we write square root 3 minus 1 divided by square root 3 minus 1 so this is called rationalization right so so we use the conjugate as you know uh, I mean sorry another mistake conjugate of minus we want to rationalization of denominator okay let me it's going to be corrected of denominator okay so denominator square root 3 minus 1 we multiply by square root 3 plus 1 both numerator and denominator now that product in the denominator will give you what difference of squares right so in the denominator we get square root 3 square minus 1 square and the numerator will multiply each term so when you multiply uh, you get square root 3 plus 1 times square root 3 plus 1 is square root 3 plus 1 whole square correct so which is square of square root 3 now that is plus 2 times square root 3 times 1 plus 1 that is what you get right so now this is just number 3 
plus 2 square root 3 plus 1 divided by this is 3 minus 1 right 3 minus 1 so you, here you get 4 plus 2 square root 3 and the denominator is what 3 minus 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so you get 4 plus 2 square root 3 divided by 2 and now you can divide each term by 2 to write your final answer which is 2 plus square root 3 it doesn't make sense to you so so that is what it is so the exact value of this particular expression is 2 plus square root 3 right so that could be one of your choices in multiple choice question perfect so be open for rationalization to match your answers at times when you're working with multiple choice questions since that is a trend these days uh, i hope you liked the approach and enjoyed the solution we were nearly missing it so many times but fortunately got it on the right track but take care that in your tests you don't do such mistakes i hope that helps feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thank you and all the best.